so this is my curried butternut squash bisque. Oh, sounds so, so good. It, yeah, it's mm. so good. And this is the time, right? Especially today. It's so it's rainy, but it's a great time for our soups. Fall, winter, all year long, you'll have your stock. Into the bottom of the pot, I have four tablespoons unsalted butter. I like to call it butter. But again, <laughs> you want to only add two tablespoons, you can. You are in control. You're mm -hmm. in the driver's seat. I wouldn't suggest any less because uh -huh. you don't want your vegetables to burn. Yep. I have celery, a Granny Smith apple, and an onion. So you want to saute that medium heat for about five, five to seven minutes. I just then said to my next, son, I was just saying to my son the other day how, you know, he was like, put apples in. I said, listen, apples are really good to cook with. I mean, they have a nice yeah. little sweetness to it. It's just, it's really nice without adding, you know, table sugar. Exactly. So you're getting that sweetness. It's like a sweet tart. Mm -hmm. It really adds great flavor. And and listen, your kids will never even know that it's in here because we're going to puree it in <laughs> okay. the end. So here we have two garlic cloves that I have minced. And then I have two tablespoons of minced ginger. Mm -hmm. So it gives it great flavor. Yeah, absolutely. And I like, yeah, great flavor. And then I like to say, um, I have a little chefy tip, curry paste. So this is mm. a red curry paste. It gives such great flavor. But the really important part, the chefy tip to the curry paste is you have to saute it because uh. there's a grainy texture to it. And that grainy texture could almost give you like that sandy texture. But if, sure. you, if you saute it, it will liquefy and it becomes beautiful. It only takes about a minute or two. Mm -hmm. So just for the... For the sake of TV, we'll yes. expedite this. Yes. It's been about a minute or two. Then our, I'm going to reach behind me, butternut squash. So I like to roast it. And mm -hmm. by roasting it at 400 degrees for about 25, 35 minutes, this is a three-pound butternut squash. I peeled it, diced it. You see all that? See that right there? That yeah. flavor. Ah. That caramelization is now going to boost great flavor Ooh. in our bisque. So I we, can we taste cook. it just looking at it. Yeah, it's, I, I was tasting it. It's really good. <laughs> so we're going to pop it right into the pot. Uh huh. Easy breezy. And then I have 14 ounces of unsweetened coconut milk. Sure. And then, of course, our homemade from scratch, uh -huh. because you can. Chicken stock. So we have four cups. We're going to bring it up to a bubble, reduce it to a simmer, uh -huh. let it hang out for about 25 minutes, build the flavor, and salt and pepper. So I cannot stress this enough. I say it all the time. You, gotta when season you're it. Se you have to season. And I always say season in layers. Yes. So I, I skip the step. I skip that step of seasoning our celery, onions, and Granny Smith apple. But you should season that. Yep. And then our butternut squash, that gets seasoned. At the end, you get full flavor. And now I'll just... I have already gone ahead and pureed it. So you want to puree it in uh -huh. a blender. Uh -huh. You want to do it in two batches. Okay. And then I'm just going to pour it for you because I want you to see how yeah, delicious and the texture that you get. It's just absolutely beautiful. Now so look at that. that's a soup right there. That's a yeah. soup. It's a beautiful thing. And then I like to finish it with a little chives, I like to say, because you're fancy. And then some <laughs> cilantro. There you go. I, lo I love cilantro. And that's it. This is a beautiful, homemade, from scratch, restaurant quality bisque that you can make at home. Thanks so much, Shereen. <laughs> it, it, it looks delicious. Thank you very much. Aww, thank you so much for having me. All right. And of course, you can find these recipes on our website. You know it. It's thedoctorstv.com.